Hi, I'm Kate Bonner from the Water Cooler Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. Today in our Florida in Focus series, Maestros and Marauders in Marathon, we peek in on a sprawling, sleepy seafaring town that marks the midpoint of the archipelago at Florida's southern tip, known as the Keys. Marathon, this mecca for laid-back vacationers seeking an authentic honky-tonk experience, is filled with quaint hotels, equally as colorful as the fish that fill the ubiquitous waters surrounding the islands in this tropical paradise. Our journey began at 6.30 a.m. when the KBTV team set off for the Florida Keys. No, we weren't hitting Key West. We wanted something a little more relaxing, so we settled on a destination nestled in the Middle Keys. As the turnpike narrowed to a two-lane road at US-1, the air got lighter, the light got brighter, and the roadside marinas became too tempting to not get out and stretch our legs. Of course, with the ulterior motive of a photo op. 45 minutes later, we hit our destination, the Sea Del Motel. Although the place was newly remodeled with brand new refrigerators, microwaves, and high-speed wireless internet access, the exterior harkened back to a simpler time, that of station wagons packed with children, dogs, inflatable rafts, and soda pop-filled coolers. My expectations for the stretch of road between Miami and Key West were pretty low. We're talking cheesy t-shirt shops, 10-foot plastic mermaids, and rusted beer cans dotting the shoulder of US-1. What we found, however, was an entirely different scene. Marathon, situated mainly on Vaca, Fat Deer, and Grassy Keys, is a 10-mile-long city at the midpoint of the Florida Keys island chain. Locals call their home the heart of the Keys for geographic reasons, but mainly to reflect the old world sleepy town Keys style with its spectacular fishing, diving, snorkeling, and sailing. This tropical key has spruced itself up with new parks, this very well-maintained Sombrero Beach, and a newly renovated airport, the largest in the Keys. These improvements were made with careful consideration to the simple seafaring tradition that gives Marathon Key its character. Fresh Fish is the local fare and dozens of ramshackle marine-style restaurants pepper both coasts on either side of Route 1. A favorite local spot is Keys Fisheries Market and Marina. Tucked away at the end of 35th Street of the Gulf Side, this little full-service fish market turns out to be more than just a grab-and-go joint. Instead, picnic tables topped with giant rolls of paper towels, Old Bay seasoning and hot sauce line the dock. There's a full bar raised two stories above the place, giving you a panoramic view of the Gulf. And the food, simple and spectacular. Fresh filet of blackened grouper on a bun with homemade spicy tartar sauce, coconut batter fried shrimp with a mango salsa, and a tangy Caesar salad. We decided to take in some of the local art we'd seen around town, and that's when we met Rocky Ferris, one of the 28 artists whose work is featured at the Bougainvillea House Art Gallery. This cooperative is owned and operated by the artists. The gallery was formed in uh, 1999, I believe. There were seven artists originally. We were looking for a place to open a gallery, find this great building. Uh, originally, there was a jeweler in here, and she had some stuff on consignment, but she was willing to change the whole concept and be uh, more of a co-op gallery. After the interview, I walked out with one of his photo surrealist works, featuring a blowfish morphing into a coconut. Then Rachel, always the consummate producer, reminded us we had a plane to catch. We buzzed out to Marathon's private airport to meet the Sea Del Motel owner, Harry Kaplan, a former real estate developer, salesman, and current pilot, and self-described commercial handyman. After a few pre-flight checks and a refuel, we were ready to go. Soon Rachel and I were gazing at Marathon in the Middle Keys from thousands of feet up. The view was amazing. The different keys looked like emeralds dotting a sea of turquoise. Once our 20 minutes of perfect panoramic views was over, we headed back to the Sea Dell for a chat with Harry about how someone who helped develop $2 billion in real estate projects ended up owning a motel in a sleepy little place like Marathon. My dad went out to Los Angeles and built a hotel in the San Fernando Valley Okay. in the late 60s. And we built some hotels in Cleveland and then built another hotel on the beach in Santa Monica in the 80s. 
and ran that for about 10 years. And one of my children got me to come down to the Florida Keys in 2003. When I came in 2003, I decided I'm not interested in LA. The traffic problems, their infrastructure problems are ridiculous. This is where I want to be the rest of my life. Tune in over the weekend for the second installment of our Florida in Focus series, Maestros and Marauders in Marathon, to watch me quite literally rub elbows with a couple of dolphins. I'm Kate Bonner for the Watercolor Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. <laughs>